So today I'm going to make a hand washing station and pretty much all you're going to need is a five gallon bucket. I bought mine from Home Depot. I got a hose. I got a uh, valve to turn the water on. A 90 degree angle for when I hook up the nozzle. You'll see that later on. And then this is a dog snack container. So I picked this up at uh, Menards. And see here, it's a 10 pound capacity. It does not tell me the gallons on it, but it is quite large. And this is where the water is going to go. Um, there is a water pump inside. Um, I'll actually be running the the hose inside. I'll drill a hole on the back part of it. Um, these are uh, two by sixes. It's just one two by six, and it's um, basically what what you want to do is this will be the the base. You'll take your bucket and you'll place it on the base and you'll cut out a circle. And it uh, does not matter if these things are crooked or wonky or whatnot. I've had this in my garage for about two years now. So they did uh, warp quite a bit. So they do not sit flat. But the majority of this right around here will all be cut out so the bucket can uh, slide in so it won't be sitting on the wood it'll actually be the bucket will sit be sitting on the floor and it'll just slide right into the wood so, more on that later on uh, as you can tell it's just a home depot bucket with uh curved wood whoever thought that was possible huh who knew but uh more on that later on and uh and uh, you can see how I do this. So I got my frame cut out. And I had to start it. I couldn't do this on camera. This was way too hard to do on camera. So basically I just put... Uh, these are 12 inch right here. So 12 inches up from the bottom. We're gonna take our bucket. And slide it in there. As of right now, it is not level. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking these uh, cutoffs and we're just stacking them up all the way around, you know, three sides of it, leave the front empty. I'm doing this to make it a little bit better looking instead of being open. And you'll see why soon. But uh, I really hope you enjoy the video because this should come out really, really cool. So right now it should look like this if you've done everything correctly. Hopefully yours looks a little bit better than mine does. Um, because everything was warped, it would not, I mean, I could literally stick my nail back there. My nail's not that long. Um, this part right here came out pretty bad. I don't know if I can fix that, but it's at the back, so it's not like I'm really looking at it. So, after you've gotten that, we have a 2x2 two two piece of plywood, and uh, you can see the dimensions, or the, the pencil here, pencil mark out, I don't know if you can, you can see that at the top there. So this is actually going to be cut out. Um, bear in mind that the, the pencil mark there is not actually going to be cut out. I'm just going to take it here and I'm going to cut it straight down because just match that right there. Because then the bucket will have somewhere to actually sit on. So let's do that and then I'll come back and 
I'll show you the last steps in order to uh, get this thing to work and everything. So in the end, it'll look somewhat like this. This is your clean water. Your dirty water will be in the bucket. This is the outline for the bucket. This is where the nozzle will be. It'll be a test up here, obviously. But uh, there'll be another nozzle right here. It'll actually drip the water downward. Now I have to figure out the inside because I don't want to cut out the entire bucket. I just want to cut out a small portion on the inside. And uh, unfortunately, this actually turned out really good. That's not the unfortunate part. The unfortunate part is my drill press will not cut straight down into something that's like six inches long. And um, I'll let you be the judge because I, I judge myself enough. Unfortunately, it did not go straight. But on the other hand, I mean, I think it went exactly the way I need it because if I put this side up against here and uh, put a screw through and some glue, I should be able to hold it on there and it should be good. This part right here will actually be glued to this. Um, I was going to use 3M tape. I just don't think it's strong enough to do it. So I'm going to figure out what I'm going to do on the inside. And um, I'll be right back. Before it's staying. And the stain look. Just an ebony stain. Matches everything else I have in the garage. Now that I have this where I want it, I'm going to take the plug here for the pump. And we're going to plug it in to this thing. Basically what that is, it's like an automatic turn on and turn off. comes with its own remote. I love this thing. And it's actually numbered. You can literally tell it's numbered right here. And there are five of them. And they're really nice. Uh, and this thing will work from anywhere in the garage. Turn it on. You can hear the pump. Turn it off. Fill this thing with water. It's about a gallon of water right here. The pump at the bottom is actually free floating because the glue on that would not actually stay. So it's only free floating a few inches, maybe quarter of an inch from the bottom. If you're wondering where I'm getting all this water from, I didn't stage this. This is actually the water I give my dog. It comes right out of the faucet. I just fill these Arizona containers for it. And this uh, remote actually comes with this this thing, or I guess this thing, actually comes with two remotes. So unfortunately, I accidentally just turned on my fan on the other side of the room. So I'd say that's about half full. Close the lid so no contaminants get in there. Take the remote, go to number three, and hit it. So now it doesn't make that same sound. Now we turn the nozzle. And... Hmm. Not the greatest flow in the world, but... I'll fix... Uh, I want to make sure that the uh, pump is actually all turned on and whatnot. So 
I guess if I gave it a few minutes, it would have came out more like this. Which is a nice flow. It's, you know, it's a great flow. I really hope you enjoyed watching this.